Hey, YouTubers and diecasters, it's uh, Altered Autos again, back with some of my other hauls, my latest hauls from the last week. Uh, this is video number two of the three hauls that I got in this past week. Uh, this video is going to be of the Walmart exclusive uh, M2 Moon Eyes, and uh, there's one of the collection. I got a whole box of them, and of course, uh, this is one of them. And that is your uh, 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner 446 pack, if you can focus on that. A lot of Moon Eyes livery on that. I like the Stilly wheels in yellow and the chrome 5 spokes on the on the front. And check out the hood detail, of course. It, it's got M2 uh, detail under the hood, the clear lens headlights, and some detail there on the front and in the engine bay. The top view there with, uh, well, the M2 logo is on the case. It's not actually on the car. Uh, top view is black racing stripes there. Let's see if I can get the back view from the top. You got your, what is that? That's the cool Moon Eyes logo on the back window. And then your detail on the rear. Okay, so that's one of the exclusive Walmart Moon Eyes collection. And I... Uh, I don't know if I've shown it yet in a video, but I've got an extensive Moon Eyes collection of many different die casts. So that's one of them. Uh, and again, this is Altered Autos coming to you from Rhodes Endville, USA. Smokey's Garage and the Gulf Station there. And they're busy putting Highway 40 through town there. And this is the diorama that will remain as it is minus the gravel road. I will put a gravel road. I don't know if you can see my hand there. It'll go in under the bridge here. And then back to the golf station and back to Smokey's Garage back here in the corner. I don't think I've got the sign in there, Smokey's Garage. There you go. There'll be a gravel road back there. Uh, right now I'm using this as my display uh, spot right here as uh, for my new loads. Anyway, there's another M2 collector, uh, Moon Eyes Livery, Sedan Delivery. Now that's a sharp piece. I really like that. I like them hubcaps. I like the uh, Moon Eyes livery they decided to put on that. Got a glare in it there. Check that out. Sedan delivery, Moon Eyes. It's too sweet. Of course, you got all your M2 detail on the front and rear. There's your M2 logo. Go with Moon. Moon, uh, that's different. That's not Go with Moon. That's, yeah, that's Go with Moon. I'm reading it on the camera. It's backwards on the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay, it says on the Bag Moon Equipment Company Speed Shop. Uh, 10820 South Norwalk Boulevard, Santa Fe Springs, California, MoonEyes.com, M2, and there you go, friends. That's your uh, 57 Chevy sedan delivery in Moon Eyes livery, black and white. That's sweet. I like that. Okay, and also in that box that I got was this. Another, if you you get to know me, you'll know I love the the uh, V-Dub trucks and vans. And there, this also was in the box. Now, this is after, in my last video, I showed you one I got off eBay with the same Moon Eyes livery. And I got a deal on it. Everybody was chasing them. And then I ended up getting this one in Walmart. It's real similar, except the one off eBay is a tow truck. And this one had a canvas canopy but it's missing the canopy on purpose. The guy that uh, checked him out on YouTube, the guy that does the M2 detail, he thought it would be cool just to leave the canopy off. I kind of disagree. Should have left it on, but loose. Anyway, this is your uh, 1960 uh, VW double cab truck USA model with the Moon Eyes livery, the Yokohama Area 1, Japan. And uh, I do like that. Uh, out of all the Moon Eyes liveries, I like that one the best, that Japan. It's kind of neat. Maybe because it's the latest. I don't know. It might not be the exact latest. But check out your M2 detail there. Your Walmart exclusives. Uh, again, one of my favorite pieces. And let me set that one aside. And we'll move to the next one that was in that box. And that would be your 58 Chevy Apache fleet side and it's in the yellow and white moon eyes uh, tampos and your chrome wheels there got some hood under the hood engine bay detail got a glare on it I say detail there's not much in there uh, maybe the radiator hose is set apart and the, the uh, air filter 
Then you got your uh, chromed out headlights on this one, not uh, plastic clear lenses, just chrome. Uh, that's kind of different for moon eyes, I think. They went a different way with that one. Uh, the Apache's pretty cool. I like it, but I don't like it as much as the Vita truck that was in this set. And you got your moon equipped logo on the tailgate and uh, all your moon eyes detail there. And so that's the next one. Let me move past that one and uh, we'll show what was after that. And that is your 1970 Chevy C60 truck. You'll see that it's got the C60 cab and the uh, C10 bed. What a sweet rig that is. I'd like to own one of those. Check out the chrome wheels on that bad boy. And the Moon Eyes livery, of course. And uh, let's see, do we have chrome headlights? Yeah. Again, that's uh, low quality for Moon Eyes. I would rather they put the clear lenses on that. That's a nice piece. Why would you not go all the way with it? Moon Eyes on the hood. And, of course, you've got... No moon eyes on the tailgate. You've got your old Chevy C10 tailgate there, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me on that C60 cab. That's just sweet. Nice piece. And so that was also in the M2 box. One more before I get to the highlight of this M2 box. Well, this is a highlight too. This is one of my favorite pieces out of my whole collection so far. Check that out. Isn't that sweet? I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up the... Uh, the color of this it's gold metallic goldish yellow metallic and i mean that sucker sparkles in the light uh check out the the moon disc and the the moon eyes livery and that's some sweet moon eyes livery check that out we love the good old usa moon eyes and then of course on the door you got moon eyes and on the front here Again, just chrome headlights. I'm, I'm just saddened by that out of M2 on this collection. Uh, it says go with moon on the windshield. And you've got your uh, Dodge badge there on the grill. And uh, on the on the rear, uh, let's see, what does it say on the rear? you got your cool moon eyes logo on the window. And it says go with moon on one door. And then, of course, you've got your license plate on the other door. you got your red tail lights. That looks good. Looks like M2 should. I'm just saddened by the fact they didn't give us clear lens headlights on those. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, let's see. That brings us to the other highlight that was in that set. I thought I had eight of them. Oh, I did have eight of them. I remember what happened. The first one I showed in this, which was that uh, uh, Plymouth... Roadrunner 446 pack. I ended up with two of those. Any of you want one, hit me up. Uh, maybe trade for something or uh, sell it to you. I don't need two of them. I, somehow I, I grabbed two in there and didn't see it, and um, I purchased them. So I do have an extra one. Plymouth Roadrunner 440. Let me show this one I've got here. I don't know where I put that one. It's probably up in my Moon Eyes collection. There goes the steamroller. That guy's going to have to be glued down. It's the third time that's done that to me. Here, check it out. I've got an extra one of these. Anybody wants it, hit me up. Uh, it's Walmart exclusive. I'm sure you could probably find one at Walmart, but I'm willing to trade if you got something good for it, something I want or need. And uh, so that's an extra one. I had eight of these, counting that extra one. Here's, I showed you that uh, van, the Dodge van was a highlight, but here was another highlight in that collection. And that is your 49 Mercury Custom. Some nice detail on that. I like those flames and scallops. What a sweet paint job this thing's got on it. The hood does open. Let me see if I can get it open. Off camera, maybe. She's not going to come open for me now, so uh, checking her out with the hood closed. Anyway, there is some hood, I mean, some uh, engine detail in there. Check out the uh, clear windows. Actually, those are yellow. I'm sorry, those are yellow windows and uh, black interior some nice detail on this thing body stripes and uh, there's your front end styling your grill chrome grill your scallops and flames chrome bumper and check it out moon eyes went all the way on this one that's got yellow clear lens headlights yellow tinted clear lens headlights and then of course on the back end on the trunk lid you've got moon equipped and you got your big old exhaust tips there and your chrome bumper this is a sweet ride nice piece uh m2 to put out in your collection your moon eyes collection and if you look real close 
got moon eyes right there on the front quarter panel behind the front wheel nice piece real nice piece but check this out it tops that and that is the ground pounder series of m2 which is a chase piece it tops the last one i just shown you this one this one also is a 49 mercury custom but it's got all the gold trim and gold wheels and all on it and it's got gold detail under the hood if you can see that nice piece it's a chase piece i've uh found out that it does come through that walmart set but i couldn't find any at walmart but i caught this one on ebay again i got a deal on this piece 15 bucks they're going higher than that now uh just like in my last video i found that uh v-dub double cab pickup tow truck with the yokohama moon eyes livery on it i got a deal on it it's going way higher than i purchased it same with this check out the gold on this thing i just wish if we compare these two if you look at the silver trimmed one, which uh, is more common, not a chase piece, I like the paint and the flames and the uh, scallops better than I do on the chase piece with the gold. It just looks better. Look at the flames there, and then look at the flames there and the scallops. I think they should have swapped paint jobs on those two. Uh, this one would have looked better with that paint job, but check it out. This is sweet. I don't know if I can get it on camera. But if you look up under the rear end of that thing, see how wide them back tires are? What a stance this thing has. Man, the body lines are just perfect on that and the gold trim. That's just sweet. One of my best pieces there, I think. From the Ground Pounder series with Moon Eyes Livery, M2. They did a sweet job on that chase piece. Nice. Okay, that was a haul I made last week. And here comes another. My wife bought me this uh, mainline car hauler from Hot Wheels. I already had one, so this one's going to get open and, and probably customized in some degree. I uh, don't know for sure if I'll take it back or if I'll keep it and customize it or uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, trade it. Uh, we'll see, but that's one I, my wife grabbed for me. And then she grabbed me these as well. And these are a new series that M2 is starting out. Again, I don't know if these are Walmart exclusive. Well, no, I know they're not because you can get these at hobby stores and whatnot. Uh, 1965 Shelby GT 350R with the Coca-Cola logos, Coca-Cola badges and tampos on the top to match uh, front detail. Uh, M2 did good. They did put the clear uh, lenses on the headlights. Some detail under the hood there. They took the bumpers off, which I thought was a nice touch for a race car. Check it out. Look at them back tail lights. They stick out, and the bumper being gone makes them stick out even a little more. I think that's kind of cool. Really does look like look like a job somebody did for a race car. Nice piece, M2. And it is the Coca-Cola series. Uh, the card's got Coca-Cola art on it and checkerboard, and it says that it's the real thing. And that is your 65 Shelby. Doors open on that piece, too. And check out the gold five spokes. Nice. M2 does some nice detail, I think. Some of you guys don't like M2 and you disagree with me. I understand that. Y'all have got your right to your opinion. But I like M2 myself. Here's another Coca-Cola series. That is your 69 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, that's a Z01. Camaro Z01. Check out the blown hood scoop nice work and check out under the hood they even cut the hood out for the blown scoop and for the filters there your air filters under the hood check it out man that's a nice detail there's your m2 front detail nice check it out under the hood and uh, front end it's all m2 correct and i'm liking it check out those wheels nice fat meaty wheels on the back chrome all the way around real rider tires flip it around here i'm not going to read all the back of these cards y'all can pause on that and read it if you'd like uh there's your rear detail i can get the glare off of it rear detail for m2 on this uh 69 camaro Z z01 nice piece again and here's one more she got me in that collection that coca-cola series m2 there was 9600 pieces of this one now that camaro was the same number 9600 pieces and so was the mustang one out of 9600 pieces coca-cola art card art uh checkerboard only these are diamonds instead of checkerboard 
and they say Coke and Coca-Cola. Now check out the car. Man, we could spend some time looking at that, huh? Check it out. 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. Got your racing numbers on the top, and uh, on the hood, you've got your 426 CI on each side. Rear end's got your 86 on it with a heck of a, you know, that well-tailed fin, though. That's off of uh, your Daytona, or your Superbird, some people call them. Uh, there is a difference, I know that, but uh, they do look alike. Check out the front end, just like a Superbird front end. Look at the detail under the hood. You can't pass that up, man. You see that stuff, you gotta buy it. My wife seen it and bought it for me. Nice piece, Coca-Cola and M2. Uh, of course, there's your rear detail. All your normal M2 things on there, your clear clear red lenses. Man, that's just a nice car. You gotta have that in the collection. If you don't have it, run to Walmart and get it. You can find these at Hobby Lobby or uh, there's a couple other places you can find them. And there's way more Coca-Cola series out there than those three. She bought me a uh, V-Dub van in the Coca-Cola series, too. It's across the room. I'll have to show it later. Uh, some Matchbox pieces I picked up. You probably have this, or me may have passed it up. I just thought it was neat. A meter reader. My dad was a meter reader way back in the day. One of his first jobs. He didn't retire from that, but he did do that downtown. And uh, there is the meter reader. Matchbox. Had to pick it up. It was a neat, neat piece. I couldn't pass it up. Matchbox uh, 14 Corvette Stingray with the police livery on it and the lights. Nice piece. I was going to add that to my vet collection, but uh, my vet collection is all Hot Wheels, and that's Matchbox. Check out what I found out at the dollar store. Some kind of new series. I'm sure it's Japanese or, or, or whatnot. I'm sure I could read on the back and find out. They're called Metal Machines, and they're 79 cents. I picked up the coolest, too. I had to get them. I couldn't pass them up. Check them out. Some hot rods from the dollar store. Uh, side of the card, that's called Buffalo. Got some uh, work in the bed there. And then the back window's open. You can go all the way through the cab there. Kind of a neat piece for 79 cents, I thought. And they are metal. And, of course, then this one is called Poison Ivy. And uh, metal machines. Found them at the dollar store. Let me... I, I, you can look at that for a minute, and I'll read on the back of the other one. Metalmachines.zuru.com. Made in China. They are Chinese. From overseas, some 79-cent metal die cast. Or, <laughs> that was a, uh oxymoron, huh? 79-cent die cast car with a blown engine. That's pretty cool. I thought it was a Camaro, but that is not a Camaro. I'm not sure what it is. Check out the front end on that. Like I said, it's Chinese. It's probably not anything American, but uh, they did make it look like American muscle. I like that. I'm going to keep checking that series out there. I'll buy them if they have anything neat. They've got some other ones, but I didn't get them. They weren't as cool as these. Um, one of the other series that Hot Wheels has started, and I've got this whole set. Uh, if you look on the back of this card, well, I say whole set. I don't have the whole set. I don't have the... Uh, Ooh, I can't read that on camera. Ford F-150 four-wheel drive. I don't have that. And I think they've added that since I've got this one. This was the last one on the cards that I was looking at, but they've added the Ford F-150.